Hi, Melissa. Just trying to see something, if I can see the chat all right or not. Always giving me trouble. Okay, we'll see if it works or not. I'm going to wait to see other people coming in. <clears throat> Wasn't sure I will uh, do a live today. I'm a little bit cold. You probably can hear it in my voice. But here I am. Hi, Linda. Juanita. Hello. I'm not a, a lot of... <laughs> Not so organized today. I, it was a hectic week and I tried my best to prepare things for today and we'll see how it goes. It's mostly my voice, so that's why I went, <laughs> I pushed forward with the, <laughs> with the live. And I prepared myself some tea. Hello, Maria. And to everyone who's coming in. The week I had is something else. We got back on Sunday from our vacation. And like every vacation, you are getting back and then it's laundry and uh, putting everything in place. And well, the house was uh, kept quite uh, okay with the two boys here. But still, they are, <laughs> they are boys. And sometimes I think that even if there, there was a tumbleweed in the house, they wouldn't see it. So... There was a little bit of organizing when we got back and then I had to prepare a, my hubby had to have surgery, went on Tuesday, something very, not major, but still a surgery and now he's back uh, home, he was dis discharged today, now we just have, have to rest, so... Another thing we went through, <laughs> and now I have a cold. <laughs> Maybe with this voice I can have some kind of a side job. <laughs> hint, hint. <laughs> Let's see who's coming in. I hope I'm pronouncing it uh, okay. Hi, Jackie and uh, Mariel, Suzanne. Let's see. Sparkle berry shine. <laughs> okay. Mm. 
you wouldn't believe it. I, I've posted, a, well, I, in my last video, I told everyone what the hours will be approximately, if it's in the UK, if it's in the US and so on and so on. So I'm getting to, for, to today and then <laughs> my hubby tells me, today we are going to, um, we, we are changing the clock. We are going <laughs> into daylight savings. <laughs> and I was like, what? Today, what am I going to do? But we are changing the clock only at a, 2 a.m. So I, I hope that by 2 a.m. I'll be in bed. <laughs> From 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. So I will have to figure out the the times for my next um, live. Everything that could happen this week happened. I even managed to somehow... Uh, my glasses got crooked. I don't know why. I don't remember sitting on them or what. But there you go. Okay, so what I wanted to do today is talk a little bit about abstract and uh, basically all most of the backgrounds that we do if it's in art journaling or other things are abstract and of course you can do it in an art journal or you can do it on a canvas you can do whatever you want and I thought to, to talk a, a little bit about that and all kinds of stuff that you can do and experiment and have fun with it and also a little bit about painting at least how I approach it so that's what we are going to do today and probably an art journal page uh, with some kind of background we'll see What is annoying? I didn't understand. <laughs> the turning uh, the clock. Ah, okay. So, this is a photocopy and a, a bad one. It's from an old printer I had and it's an old painting of mine that was on a large canvas. And I found it in my stash uh, some time ago, and I thought I'll do something again. This one was sold uh, like five or six uh, years ago, and I felt like doing something uh, similar. And I, I did it on canvas, a large canvas again, because I wanted to be in my living room. What I have now, I'm tired of it, so... <laughs> I've done another one, not exactly the same, but uh, something uh, similar. And I'm going to try <laughs> and show you. It's still, uh, I didn't go with any varnish on it or anything. And I, it's, it's big and I don't have enough room to show you, but that's part of it. <laughs> I have very limited room here, uh, but I posted it on my Facebook page if, and I think even in my, uh, what do I call it, Instagram, I don't know, yes, Instagram. So if you want to see the whole thing, it's there. And this week I've done uh, this, I had this lying around, it was done with watercolors and it needed a home so i've done the background again something abstract and just had fun with it this was done with intense uh, pencils so just wanted to show you some 
examples about what I'm talking about abstract it can be something like that background with that we are randomly if it's stenciling stamping making marks whatever we are doing this is an abstract in the back and it can be something like this it can be something like the painting it can be many things let's see this one i uh, i'm almost sure i've done it on one of my videos or uh, in one of the lives i'm not sure <laughs> i just can't keep up with all the videos that i make and it's just having fun an abstract background can be a uh, something flowy it can be just a uh, something symmetrical it can be any shape that you like what's great about it is that you can take just a notebook a plain notebook and experiment and find out what you like do you like straight lines do you like symmetry you don't like symmetry whatever uh, you can eat do an entire notebook just by doing abstracts in the background if you uh, want a uh, later on to have some focal point like here then you can have a focal point but i see it a lot i do it a lot because well it relaxes me <laughs> but also it gives me um, an opportunity to find things that i like if it's color combination, if it's um, shapes that I like better than others, layouts that I like better than others, and each time I use a different medium, it can be whatever you want, if it's acrylics, pencils, um, crayons for all that matter, or just felt uh, markers, plain felt markers, like you are coloring in a coloring book so it's just nice to let go and do what you want here is another example for just uh, going with all kinds of straight lines and just having fun with it so moving this let's see so i thought that i'll uh, do something here is another abstract, complete and other abstract, just by taking ripped, uh, torn paper from all kind of gel uh, printing, printing, and this I've just uh, cut it from some kind of um, scrapbook paper and made a stencil. So <laughs> this is the leftover, and it just went uh, really nicely here okay so let's take just another page let's see what's going on in the chat what i'm missing hi jean I hope I haven't missed anyone. If I missed anyone, hello, hello. And thank you for coming in. And if you are just now coming in, I'm a little bit scattered. And <laughs> not everything is prepared for this uh, live stream. Okay. So, blank page. Just, and as I said, you can just take any kind of notebook and... Don't be afraid, it's just paper. Take a, a very simple uh, notebook. Oh, and it reminds me that I wanted to show you something. I'm always doodling and doing all kinds of stuff. And, I, and wherever I am at my house, I have either post-its or um, little pieces of paper uh, so I can doodle on top. And all the doodling like some kind of this is one of the last uh, doodles that i've done uh, just an idea for making a butterfly everything is going into the no notebooks 
and most of what I'm doing on this post-it are just I've made like this is an ID for a stencil that I made this is an ID for a bird that I made so I, I'm always a uh, doodling something so here is another ID for a background IDs for stencils and so it doesn't have to be directly in an art journal you can take even a, a post-it and try and find out what you would like to do do you want to dissect like this another post-it do you want something wavy just experiment and have fun with it and go with shapes that you like or even um try and take a stencil that you think you like and a uh, use it as a guideline i can take this kind of a uh, i don't know what to call it it's a ruler with shapes here is the ruler here are the shapes and I can do something with it just to have fun. I'm. It's not planned. I'm just. Uh, just making something out of it. Maybe a little one here. I don't know. Okay. So just here is a start for something. And I can all, already feel that uh, if I'm doing this kind of a background, I hope you, you see there is a little bit of glare uh, because of the uh, two lighting things that I have here. I already feel just by making this layout that I will probably go with something like this. That will go with this um, movement on the page. <laughs> I hope I, <laughs> I'm explaining it <laughs> so you can understand and that you uh, can see what I'm doing. Maybe just so you can see, let's take a marker. And I will make it into an art journal page. And even if it doesn't go as planned, I don't care, it's just paper. Now, it may uh, seem very easy um, and that but it's from years of doodling and doing things until I find things that I like. So if you are not doing something, it, it's like if you want to run a mar marathon, then you need to prepare. And I'm not talking about, not even talking about, um, how do I say, it? a classic learning of painting. I'm talking about just making lines, making circles, making shapes on, on post-it notes until you find what you like. And through time, things are more flowy and getting easier. So let's see. I can already feel like there's going to be at least two art journal pages today. 
especially because I haven't planned on anything concrete. So right now I'm just, I just want to show you all kinds of way to go about layout and then I want to talk about painting and it doesn't even matter what kind of medium you're using and of course it's just how I go about it so I had an like an official training I I have a degree from the university in designing for the theater although you have to learn everything it's theater so yeah <laughs> if you want to create something on stage then you will learn the history of clothes the history of uh, uh, buildings the history of everything and then you have to translate it to the stage and I can tell you that I wasn't quite mature <laughs> I've made it but I didn't listen in all the classes <laughs> so most of what I'm uh, doing today is what I find that makes me um, that brings me joy I don't care about the rules I don't care about color wheels I don't care about uh, all kinds of rules of making a composition so there is that okay so just taking an eraser Okay, I can already tell you that this side uh, feels a little bit empty and I already am thinking what is going to be here. I'm thinking about maybe I will stamp later something. Uh, if you know me, I like text in the background, so maybe that what uh, is going to be stamped there. Or I'm going to put some writing here. So this is one of the layout. And let's do just something that is not flowy, not curvy, something with just a ruler. Let's see. And as I have here, you can say that I have I don't know how to call it. You can say that my focal point is here because everything is originating from here. But uh, here my focal point is the leaf, the ginkgo leaf. And all the lines, all the background is going with the flow of the ginkgo leaf. But there isn't a point of origin for the lines. It, I just started uh, doing lines that I like. Again, I like curvy lines, it comes naturally to me, but it can be something a com completely different. I can decide, maybe this will be my focal point for that matter, and I can start by just making lines from that focal point. The spiral here is getting in my way. that again I'm just winging it it's not planned some are thin some are thicker let's see and as I'm doing it I'm already thinking what if I will do one side with straight lines and one side with curvy lines things just go <laughs> in my crazy head but it 
not to, not today. I'm not going to try this today. I'm not trying to. I'm going with the straight lines for this page, and we'll see where it takes me. Let's do a large one here. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe another one. Okay. Now I can leave it be and that would be my background. And I can add to it. I used to do, if you remember... a. A long, long time ago, when dinosaurs roamed the earth, there was the, the phones were tethered to the wall. And if you had a phone attached to the wall, you probably had some kind of a, a shelf. Or if you were more lucky, you had some kind of sitting arrangement with a shelf and a book that you can write phone numbers and so instead of writing phone numbers i would talk on the phone and doodle and one of uh, the things that i used to do is all kinds of stuff like this and then go like this i'm just <laughs> and each section would go with a different color or just with the the pen that I had on hand all kinds of stuff like that and this is again something wavy I can do the same thing here just spitting out <laughs> all kinds of uh, ideas I can do maybe some broken line let's see this and this I don't know maybe it would be nice maybe it won't but what's the worst that could happen Okay. Let's see. And of course I can dissect it more and more depending what I want to do. But again, you can do something like this just to have fun, just to color it, just to experiment with whatever supplies you have and have fun with it. You can uh, lay, leave it as is, you can <laughs> add a focal point later on after you're finishing with the background. So let's see what's going on in the chat because I'm talking and talking and talking. Okay, so I'm up to <laughs> what's going on in the chat, and let's see. So, now moving to a uh, coloring. I have a way to go about it. Let's see, I'm going to take, just because it's 
a small space I'm going to take my ink tense pencils and that's what I'm going to use today this is the most expensive stuff I have in my entire supply but it was worth it <laughs> so <laughs> okay and I'm just going to as I said it's not planned I'm just going to go with the flow okay so most of the time what I do is I and of course it can be colorful you can go with just a one color in different shades again this is experimenting this is having fun you can even do the same image over and over again and each time you will make something different just by changing the color so that's the that's what i see as the purpose of this <laughs> thing okay so let's say i want i want a blue to start with a blue and i like uh, to have shading now when a lot of time there are some teachers that <laughs> um will teach you to put black so you will have a darker color and why to have a lighter color i don't do that i don't like it this is personally i don't like it especially if it's with acrylics and stuff like that i don't like it it the colors are becoming grayish i don't like it at all and especially if i will go with something like and white uh, makes very soft pastel colors that I don't really like. On only if I have small areas, I use white to make some lighter color, but I'm going with it <laughs> very carefully. My what I like to do is to start either with the light lighter color or the darker color and then pick a shade that is darker if i don't have a shade that is darker then that's what i'm going to show you like now i took a very a uh, dark a uh, blue this one is what what it says here iron blue i think that's what is whatever it looks to me more like Persian blue but as i said whatever so i'm starting with the darker blue so of course here in this uh, set I have all kinds of shade of blue that I can go and put and make it look more less flat because when you color an area with just one color it looks flat, it, it looks plastic, it doesn't look uh, good. So I have this and of course I can take a lighter shade. Now you won't see it right now, but I will activate this are activated with water. Now if you do use something like this or it doesn't even have to be an ink tense pencil, if you have watercolor pencils, I like to do is get in between each between two colors I will do some uh, overlap it makes easier to blend the colors now with ink tense there is also the more you press the darker the color will be the less I press the pencil the lighter the shade will be I'm going so it's easier but i'm not talking about it now because i want to show you what how i do darker and lighter co colors without using black and white but right now i'm just doing the simple stuff the when you have when you have the colors that you want again overlapping between the colors
So that's the simple way to go about it. And I'm taking a brush with water and activating it. Now, sometimes I like to go from the lighter color towards the darker color and sometimes a, from the darker to the light. And I like to move in circular motion. I don't, for me, it works, although there are, I've seen many videos about using intense pencil that say do not by any way do this it works for me what can i say sometimes i'll do it sometimes i won't yeah i really don't care <laughs> what can I, I don't like rules okay almost done so that's the simple way you have the shades use them and then now if i want a darker shade when and i don't have <clears throat> a darker shade in my uh, set like let's take i'm taking now one of the lighter uh, shades just to show you and i want to uh, show you more in acrylics because it's different right now I'm showing with this and this can be applied uh, with um, chalk pastels with um, oil pastels with crayons it can be applied with all of those so sometimes I only have this color i don't have any other a uh, darker blue i will take something that is from the same family i will either take a darker a uh, purple or darker green depending on the way i want to go and i will mix them on the page so let's do half and half just so you will see i'm putting the lighter color here lightly not covering everything and now I'm taking darker a dark purple here so it will mix with the lighter blue and let's take a darker green now just so you will see what i'm talking about and i'm going lightly so it will mix with the lighter blue that i used so this will have some tint of green this will have some tint of purple and i've done it in the same area just so you will see Okay. I'm just dipping my brush here at the side. I have a jar with water. And here I'm going and activating this. Sometimes I'm not putting enough, so I will go over it when it's dry and add more. But I think you get what I'm talking about here. To get a darker color, to get more interest, to get more... <laughs> I hope you can see it. So, and of course, just... I'm moving on to something if I'm using so that's the let's call it cold uh, <laughs> colors like if I have let's take a red here now I want a, a darker shade here I, of course, I, if I have it in my set, I can take this shade, which is, which is like, um, let's say, Bordeaux, <laughs> okay? 
<laughs> but I can also pick some brown, dark brown, and add it to the red. So that's another way to go about it. And of course, if I will put the red here also, it will just a little overlap, it will help the blending. And I could also, another way to go about it, and it will create more of a, let's call it a stained glass effect. I'm doing red here. And now I'm picking yellow. Yellow helps to create in the <laughs> the look of light <laughs> I'm sorry my brain doesn't work too much. <laughs> okay let's activate this too just so you will see the effect the different effect here where they are meeting I like to go back and forth I'm not trying to stay in the lines, I just want to to show you the effect. So that's one. Now this is the same effect of a uh, light can be achieved with other colors like let's say say I want let's do um, I'm taking this one Next to it, just so you will see, I'm taking again some blue. And the yellow, I can also decide not to go with the yellow. I have here a very light green, yellowish green. I can also decide to put this one here and then add a little bit of yellow. That's also an option. And mixing them on the page. Again, I'm not too um, precise now because I just want to demonstrate the effect and <laughs> don't really care too much about anything else <laughs> okay here we go and let's see so that that's the options that you have and this was done just with the ink tense pencils same thing with just watercolor pencils and each medium of paint has its own way of blending. Let's see what's going on.
they are ink based that's why <laughs> ink ink tense so uh, they are ink uh, based so they are more uh, vibrant and once they are dry they they are permanent so that's great thing Okay, so now I'm moving this. Enough with the expensive stuff. And let's take something very simple. Back to the supplies from the cheap store. Just felt pens. Markers, whatever. <laughs> Again, just coloring. Now, uh, I, if you are following me, I've done many videos before. If you are using regular chip store, whatever, felt pens or markers or whatever you want to call them, <laughs> if you are using them on watercolor paper, you can activate them and use them as, a, as watercolors. And the effect is very nice. I'm just picking uh, colors willy-nilly. Now this, uh, I'm not sure if this paper is also for watercolor. Don't remember. I'm, as you see, I'm coloring very uh, quickly. Don't care about the outcome. We'll see if it will be, if I can activate them with water. Maybe I'll go in here with a little bit of the yellow. Let's see, taking some water. On watercolor paper it works so all those who are afraid of watercolors that they don't can't control them can use something like this and the effect uh, takes place like it takes almost a um, you put the water and it takes about a minute to get to the final result so this is still wet i can i can't see yet the final result but i can still move for uh, all intent or and purposes this is ink okay what we have on the felt pan the tip is basically a very small uh, ink pad Okay, this one is dry. Uh, you know, if you have dry markers, you can make them into sprays, but you really need a lot of them. You just uh, take the filling out of this and put it in, either in water or in alcohol, but you need several of the fillings to have something that will be uh, vibrant enough. But I don't need more sprays, so this is going <laughs> to the trash. I'll do just this one, and then I think I will move to show you how I go about it with acrylic paint. Sometimes uh, it doesn't even have to be in the same family. Sometimes I like to do all kinds of uh, mixed colors and in between. Really up to you. That's the place to experiment and see what happens.
and now another one bites the dust it's kind of dry this marker okay taking water Here we go. This is almost dry, uh, if you can see, it blended quite nicely. And this, I'm not sure this is even a, it's quite thick, but it's not watercolor paper. So, here we go. Okay. So I'm gonna let this dry and I'm going to move the markers because, again, I'm losing real estate here on the desk. Let's see. I bought mine on Amazon. I saved a lot of time for the ink tents <laughs> and it was a gift for I gave myself a gift for my birthday some, I don't know, one year ago, two years ago, I don't remember. Okay, let's move, maybe we'll do something here and then I'll move to this one, just for uh, showing, I'm just picking up random colors, again, I haven't uh, prepared a lot for this live because I wasn't sure I was going to make it some cold colors warm colors whatever and just for the sake of demonstrating let's take a black and where is the white let's take white here and I don't know. Okay. So, let's start with this. I'm just going to smear some paint. Smearing red here. Okay? Let's put I'm going to put here some of the dark brown. Some black. And some white. It's more of a... <laughs> I don't know, a painting <laughs> session. Okay, so we've got the red here, okay? Now, if I'll take from the brown and mix it while it's still wet, first of all, I will have some uh, 
gradient, I don't know, ombre effect, it will blend better and that's the color that I'm getting, okay? Now if I'm taking with my brush from the black and going in into the still wet paint, I don't have enough of the red, so right now it's just black. Okay. It kind of turns uh, to be with a grayish hue, which I don't like. Some do. If you like it, go for it. No rules. Just do what you like. Ex experiment, have fun, and do what you like. And I'm not mixing the white with the red because I hate pink. <laughs> so, <laughs> no <laughs> demonstration there. Okay. Just blending. I'm almost covering the red. I don't care. Right now I'm having fun smearing paint. Yay! I'm already liking what's going on here. <laughs> Just by smearing the paint. What can I say? Okay. Cleaning my brush because I'm moving to another color. Let's do... A, this is some dark olive green. Where is okay? So I've got dark olive green here, and now I can I'm going to mix it with the, this light green on this side. And let's put some brown here. I forgot that I had one <laughs> more here. <laughs> I'm all over the place, people. Moving into the brown, which I prefer because it's warmer. And I can also continue mixing. And if I feel like I don't have enough of the dark olive green, I can add more. I can also mix my colors here. It doesn't have to be on the page. Each one has its own way of working and I'm just moving to another color because I can and it's not planned and I like smearing paint what can I do what can I say? <laughs> Let's take something else. Mm. Just by smearing paint, I am moving on and doing some well this is an abstract background that i haven't planned on and whatever will be will be
I know it looks like a mess, but I think every great background starts with a mess. But that's just me. I'm sorry if I'm not keeping up with the chat. I'm trying to check from time to time. Okay. I'm just switching to another brush because I'm getting tired of uh, cleaning again and again the brush. When just smearing paint to create a background, I like to have from each color at least on three areas of my page. That's just, again, just me. Do what you like. Again, I can blend them, I can leave them be. Whatever you feel works for you. Making marks. I don't have a clue what's going to become of this page. Okay. And I'm not forgetting the other one. Let's see. Mm. I'm just playing. Okay, what other stuff I can do to this page? <laughs> Let's see. Just looking for something, something that will give me more marks on my page. Let's see. Just a plastic card.
all the paint is still wet so some of it is still mixing in between don't care I like it and this is just the start all this mess is just a start And if you don't like it, it's just paper. You can get rid of it, do something else, you can cover it, you can put gesso in, you can just tear it out of your art journal. It's just paper. That's the beauty of it. I have canvases that I went over them like 10 times until I liked what I had. So, yeah, okay. I think I'm going to leave it be for now. It needs to <laughs> to dry. Now, not wasting paint, so I'm going to take one of the notebooks that I put some leftover paint. Some of my best uh, painty papers or collage papers are just from this notebook where I'm putting leftover paint. Nothing is going to waste. And this also is just the beginning. All this is going to be collage paper, painty paper, whatever you call it. And I will just put on, I will have a stencil from other project on laying on my table and then I will use it to, and more leftover paint and it will go on top of this or I'll have a stamp with something. So it keeps building up. Okay, let's get rid of this. This needs to dry. This is almost dry. Let's help it so I can turn the page. I'm uh, going to <laughs> uh, use the heat tool, so if you don't like the sound of it, just mute me. <laughs> Too much paint here.
again as I said this is just the beginning but let's say just for an example it can I can leave it as is I I already like it as a background I can work on it and it can stay still like this without the focal point but I can also decide to go and put some focal point on it and I just grabbed something that I have near me so <laughs> it's not really the colors that I would go with but just so you will see how it works and it can be a background for a focal point or without okay turning the page let's see what type of paint I want to use here <laughs> mm, 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 mm. any suggestion <laughs> from the Any requests for me to use any kind of paint? If I have it, of course. Watercolors. I can try. It's not really watercolor paper, but let's go for it. Got a mess here. Okay, watercolors. I'm just taking a set that I think I think it's from Amazon or AliExpress or whatever. I really don't care. It was it, it doesn't have any brand and it's just cheap and I like the colors that's it so let's do let's take some brushes this one this one it's really easier to work with watercolors with watercolors <laughs> brushes but I oh, but you can also work with other stuff. Okay. What colors do I want to use? Mm, I'm feeling... I'm feeling like... I think purple. I, I want to do something with purple. And maybe here turquoise or light blue. I don't know. So easier uh, to work with watercolors if you put a little bit of wa uh, water where you uh, the colors that you want to use and let's see mm. now another another thing It's just remember this is not watercolor paper, but I'm going to use the same technique that I'm using on watercolor paper. It's just easier for me. I'm not an expert on watercolor. That's just how I work. So I'm uh, taking the brush with water and I'm I'm coloring with water the area that I want to color. Okay, because water goes to where the water is. So. I'm putting down water where I want to color. Now, because this is not a watercolor paper, it absorbs the water quite uh, quickly. So I need to work quick. And I'm taking some purple. And that's for that's the technique for all 
the ones that are afraid of watercolors because they are they are not in control you put the water where you want it to go and that's the best way to go about it i'm adding a little bit of this color because this one i don't really like it as is so i'm just adding from this shade and i'm not coloring with again like the other stuff i'm not using the same color for all the circle i'm dipping into another color and just letting them blend and practically letting them mix on the paper here we go So it's not a solid color on the page. Next. And I'm letting this um, I like when the water goes in all kinds of places. I, I like that it mixes. If you don't, don't do the next section near go to another place let it dry and then do it but i like it so that's what i'm doing here and i'm just taking another another purple i will go over the black lines later on so they will be more noticeable and let's see let's introduce some i don't know this color just playing it probably looks to you like pink but it's it has more of a red tint. It's more on magenta than a pink. So I can live with it. <laughs> okay. Next. Sometimes I just color without putting the water as I showed you. Again, however you feel more comfortable. And now I'm taking a little bit of a blue color so I'm creating another shade in between that I don't have in my set You can do as many colors as you want in a specific area. That's the fun of this uh, thing. As long as it's wet, I can go and blend it. Okay, I feel like here it needs more, it needs to be darker, so I'm just adding, 
Okay, so what color do I use now? <laughs> Once again, I'm just picking colors without too much thought. Some blue. Mixing them. Okay. I've got this. Now I'm uh, voting <laughs> for a turquoise <laughs> or something like that uh, leaves. Let's see what's going on in the chat. Okay. Let's see. Taking a lighter color. And again, mixing, not one solid color in an area. And I'm even leaving a little bit of white. So you see here I'm just putting directly on the page but if you uh, really want to control it do what I've told you before just put water inside the shape and then the paint will go to where the water is. And here it just, the water traveled here. If I like it, I leave it. Don't like it, I will just uh, take the brush and put it on a sponge or a towel so it will 
uh, take away the water and now I'm putting it here and it's uh, absorbing the excess water okay so that's how you take away excess water that you have on the page if you have a puddle and you want to absorb it then you need the the brush to be dry okay my throat is like sandpaper Too much paint taking away feel it's too much I will take away again just by drawing my brush we are okay I feel like I need some either stamping splattering something in the background and Maybe I'll go with stamping because this is still wet and if I will do a splatter it will just, uh, I don't know what to call it, dispersed, will <laughs> get to all kinds of places. So, let's find some stamp. I'm always reaching for text. I really like it. And let's see. Maybe not text this time. I don't know. there is such thing as too much and I've got too much stamps that now I can hardly find what I want there is such a thing as too much We'll see. I'll just have to work with what uh, I found. Mm, okay, let's see. And I, I don't want it too prominent on the page. So, so I'm thinking of going lightly with something. I have this shaded lilac. Maybe this will work. Instead of splattering, maybe I can use this uh, stamp. Oh my god, it doesn't want to come off the acetate. No, it doesn't want to come out. Whatever. Be 
is what it is. this and let's see text something not really a text but uh, something that looks like handwriting caressive ha handwriting and now maybe maybe weathered wood I don't know let's see how I'm trying it here no too grayish Let's see what color do I have that will work here. I just bought a new one that I haven't, I didn't have before. Mermaid Lagoon. Let's see. Ooh, this is nice. Yes. We are going with this one. I'm going with this one. <laughs> Okay, I like it. And, and, and. I still feel like I need something here. It's definitely something written here. And I feel like my bubbles or whatever circles need something. Mm hmm. I'm just trying to read the chat while I'm trying to decide what to do. <laughs> okay, I'm using the heat tool. Cover your ears. some doodling yep just black a uh, marker permanent marker and what am I going to do mm. let's see okay I'm going to start something let's hope it will look okay Need a new one, or maybe this one. Let's 
It's all about the doodling. We also had the yellow pages, of course, near the phone. And they got doodles also. No piece of paper was safe for me. Don't need this anymore. Okay. Weird, but I like it. <laughs> Should I go with it on all the same doodle on all the circles or do something else? I don't know. Mm. Let's do something else. What's the worst that could happen? I think I'll make some of them thicker. Nothing is perfect. I'm just doodling. And whatever will be, will be. Okay, next. <laughs> Any suggestions? <laughs> oh, I am tired. What do I feel like? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I, I need to uh, continue the page <laughs> another time. Wow. I'm parched. Doesn't work. Another one. Okay. Let's just do another one like the top one. 
just spreading some dots and connecting it's quite random the size of the dots the <laughs> the way I am connecting completely and utterly random Okay. <laughs> what now? I'm stuck. It's just easier to do this kind of lines when I'm moving uh, the page. And once again, some of them are thicker. And I'm just doing this randomly. One more. <laughs>
Almost done. Almost. Which is good because I'm really, really tired. I think I need to go over the lines and in some places make them more noticeable. And thicker. Okay, something to write here, some, some writing, I don't know, let's see. First I'm deciding on color and then I will figure out something that will be proper for this page. like this let's go with this one and if it's crooked it's because my glasses are crooked Live each day with grace and authenticity. <laughs> That's my page. <laughs> oh, I'm going to, uh, in another time, I'm going to finish this page and this page and we'll see what comes out of it. Maybe in my next video I'll show you if I remember. And what else did I want to tell you? Uh, oh, yes. If you are following me and you know I have the giveaway on each Monday, I started it. So this Monday, it, well, Sunday I returned uh, from Bulgaria and Monday I was 
uh, in a hurry to make a video and prepare the giveaway and I had a lot of mess here so what happened is that the giveaway for next week and the giveaway from the last week it got mixed up whoever won the giveaway is going to get the giveaway it just uh, mixed up I've sent everything but I just <laughs> What was supposed to be a giveaway in uh, next Monday was sent this time. So what can I say? It was a hectic week. Let's see what's going on in the chat. A shutterbug. I'm sorry, I, I don't understand the question. Which one? What template? Let's see. The original image with the color. I'm sorry. What? Uh, what original image? What's on the? Um, original image without the color. Uh, I've lost you. I'm sorry. What? What was that? What image? The circles and the leaves, I just made it uh, in the live with this these circles and the leaves I've done by hand. That's it. I just took uh, this and made some circles and this I made by hand. It's something that I do so much that it just comes naturally to me so you see i'm not planning i'm just so it can be anything but of course you use an image that you cut from a magazine it doesn't have to be something like that it was just something that i drew It could have been any other thing. I just wanted to show that it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be something like that, and it doesn't have to be something like that. It can be, basically it can be anything and from <laughs> whatever you have on hand. Okay, just checking to see if there are more questions, and I'm sorry if I'm <laughs> if I haven't seen if you uh, asked me something and I lost it in the chat. Yeah, it's a uh, one one fifty a.m. and I need to uh, change the clock because we are going into daylight savings. But I don't care. I can sleep as much as I want tomorrow. So <laughs> okay. So this is it for today. 
today, tonight, tomorrow. <laughs> I hope I, I gave you some ideas and not to be afraid of abstract and not to be afraid of watercolors and not to be afraid to uh, try all kinds of stuff and it can be just a pencil, a ruler and felt pens. Doesn't need to be anything fancy. So thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me or leaving me comments down below if you are seeing the live afterwards. So I'll say goodbye. Bye bye.